Greetings, greetings, beautiful being. Welcome to Movement Medicine Morsels today. And this week, the theme has been antidotes to overwhelm using some of the tools that come in the medicine cabinet of yoga and yoga therapy. And we've been looking gently at the five body theory, the five panchakosha theory, which means basically tells us we are not just one thing. We are a beautiful union and combination of physical body, our energy, our breath, our intentions, the way we think, what we believe. And today we are touching on the joy body, the body that is made of bliss, anandamaya kosha. So how can this be helpful? Well, it's one of my favorites. And basically, when we think about things or engage in things or are with people or animals or in nature, all of us have places and people that make us really happy or memories that make us really happy. And that feeling of joy is a medicine. When we smile, when we remember the things that make us feel whole, happy, complete, or are engaged in activities that make us forget all about time and space, we're listening to music, we're watching a sunset, we're looking into the eyes of our beloved, we're hugging our grandchildren, you fill in the blanks. We've all got at least one thing, if not a few things, that bring us joy. But what happens when we're under stress and duress? We contract, we forget about those things, and we think about the negative things that are in front of us. And the more we feed a thought or an energy, the bigger it gets. If you water a plant, it grows. So if we water the negative thoughts, that's what's going to grow in us. And then the other thing that happens when we're suffering or struggling or in pain is we start to feel that we're the only one or that it's really our problem or we find ways to blame ourselves. And the other thing is we're all suffering, all human life. There's no human life without suffering. We all have pain, we all have losses. But the fact that we are alive, this is something I was thinking about just before this morning's little broadcast, is the fact that we are alive means that there's a real thrust of joy and vitality and will to live within us. Every cell is alive. We're here. Our eyes are alive. Our body wants to live. There's life inside us. And as long as there is life and there is breath and we have conscious choices about what we choose to think and where we choose to rest our energy, well, we have all the resources we need. And when we start to remember that we're all in this together, maybe we reach out or someone reaches out to us, and we remember that even through a time when we're sheltering at home and keeping our distance, it's still possible to connect through the heart to one another. So that's enough chit-chat. I could go on, but I wanted to set the mental tone of where we're going with this, and we're also going to include experiences in our body and our breath. So I want to invite you to come into your expression of vertical alignment. I'm also wearing a star to remind us all, including myself, to sparkle. Sparkle in some way, whatever that means to you. Remember to link yourself to something that inspires you so we can rise up through the crown of the head to begin with and then root down through the sit bones and also through the feet. And see what a long, quiet spine, if that changes your internal alignment right there. And a soft smile, that always helps us remember the optimism and to remember what's positive because we can cultivate that energy and then utilize the growth of that energy to help our physical health, our mental health, our emotional health, and to also be luminous, luminous so that others can be inspired. And that's my main message. So feeling your feet, feeling your sit bones, feeling the lift through the crown of your head, a soft smile, and let's rest our hands over our heart center, the center of love, the supreme consciousness. And I want you to feel your breath. I invite you to feel your breath, breathing in, literally inspiration, 
breathing out whatever might be heavy or old, breathing in more oxygen, taking in more of life, breathing out the old to make more room. And take a moment as you're settling your breath and if you feel a little top heavy and not quite grounded, I invite you to bring at least one hand or maybe both hands down to your lower belly and feel the breath flowing in into a lower, more grounded place of you. That could be helpful. And as you feel your breath settling and feel yourself connecting a little bit more with your wholeness, think about something someone or some place that brings you joy. It may be a memory, it may be something that you can connect with today or this evening, or it may be something that you're connecting with simply by memory. And just like an unpleasant memory can get us worked up and get our nervous system chugging away, a pleasant, beautiful memory also has the same effect but in the opposite direction. So maybe a sunset, maybe a beautiful moment, maybe your animal companion, maybe something in the past that is like a shining light or a star in your life. Maybe something in the future that you're building towards, but bring that feeling into this present moment and see if that shifts something for you. And let that come into your breath. You're breathing in more of that beautiful feeling. And as you breathe out, you're releasing anything old that may have been stuck but now is loosening up. A desire to bring in more of the life energy to feed all of those, what is it, 70 trillion cells of the physical body that all have consciousness and all have a desire to grow, to be vital, and actually want to help and want to be healing. So let's feed them with joy. We're getting a little intravenous joy, IV. And I invite you to come and stand with me if you wish to. You can do this seated as well. We're very flexible. You can also do it through visualization. We've started using visualization. You can do the whole thing through visualization. So let's warm our hands up agents of love, fingertips, tap them a little bit, caress your hands and appreciate them, feel your hands, the beauty of the bones, the magnificence of the palms, appreciation of these beautiful instruments of can caress ourselves, give ourselves a hug, we can hug people in our bubble or we can remember what that feels like but in the meantime we can hug ourselves and give ourselves the skin contact that we may be craving and caressing our arms with love. This is very soothing. This is very calming and settling for the nervous system. If you don't have a pet, be your own pet. Feel that lovely caress. And if you're in a place where you don't feel like doing the big movement or you feel a little shy or maybe that your shoulder doesn't feel comfortable lifting your hand. Caress your hand and smile and breathe. It's a soothing. And then see how that feels on that one side. And remember your vertical alignment so you're connecting to the ground and also to your North Star. And lovingly, with as much love as you can bring in, such appreciation let the arm feel the touch, and you can choose if you want this to be like a butterfly kiss, like a feather, or maybe it feels more soothing for you to have a bit more weight. Experiment a little bit, and then try the hand. Such love, shining love on yourself. And for those of you who are caregivers and are doing a lot of loving for other people, don't forget yourself. Don't forget, remember. And literally we're remembering, we're bringing the limbs of our body back into the wholeness of our awareness. And see how that feels. 
And does that change your breath or the way that you feel right now? And look around a little bit. Really take in what's around you, especially if you're at home and you kind of tune out what's ordinary or what you see every day. Look with fresh eyes. Is there something of beauty that you haven't looked at? I'm looking at a beautiful painting and the sunlight is catching it just so. And usually I don't pay attention to it, but I'm able to see it with fresh eyes. Or maybe there's a window that you can look out. Or maybe there's someone or something that just inspires you. So anchoring ourselves in the beauty of what's already around us. And we're going to tap a little bit if you want to, or maybe you want to just stay looking around or stroking your arms, or you could do that with any part of yourself. But if you want to join me for the next part, we're going to tap some love in with our fingertips, our beautiful fingertips. So you can start at the heart and the chest and the lungs and tapping in love and smiling into your beautiful body that is actually so alive, so alive with 70 trillion cells that are all just bubbling with eyes wide open. It's like, let's do this. And then tapping with love up and down your throat and into your beautiful face, letting go any mask you might be wearing. Forget about looking nice for someone else or smiling because people tell you to. Okay, I'm telling you to smile lightly too. It's a little bit more medicinal, but the feeling of remembering sweetness. So you interpret that today any way you want. If your natural face just as letting go, do it. It's your natural face. And tapping a little bit at the temples and around the eyes and loving those beautiful eyes that see, that can bring in so much information. And you can also choose, are you going to bring in ugly information or are you going to also feed your senses with beautiful information? And tap all over your scalp to awaken your brain and all over your chest and let's tap down your beautiful arm feel the palms wake up with clapping come up and tap into your armpit and the beautiful thing is you can't do this wrong you can just tap a couple of places maybe you want to stay in one spot and tap love come down the arm love 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 sometimes i just say that mantra love 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 and believe it and clap the hands and do this any way that feels life-giving to you. You're waking up. You're saying, thank you. I see you, 70 trillion cells. I see you, lungs. I see you, heart. I see you, chest. I see you, all you beautiful organs. And not only the front of my body, but the sides. And I can tap into the back of my body. And I see you, kidneys. And thank you. And I see you, back body and all the way up and down, and maybe even one hand above and one hand below, but always making it comfortable for you. And let's come down the backs of the legs today. With love, of course. As far as you can reach comfortably, behind the ankles, over the tops of the feet, up the insides of the ankles, tapping with love, life force energy into the perineum. Breathe all the way down into your perineum. Ah. And let this gently come to a close. And then fold your hands over your low belly. Find your vertical alignment. Plant the soles of your feet. Feel what they feel. Drop the tailbone to anchor the base of the spine and rise up, rise up. Soft smile, if you want. But not a smile to look pretty, but a smile that comes from the inside, that is a, a lightness coming into your nervous system and a feeling of being connected to the great whole rather than splintered or separate. Feel your inner smile. Feel your breath. Remember that you always have a connection available to the stability of the earth, to the expansion and elongation upwards, the lightness, the gracefulness that comes from 
having a connection to the sky or your own personal star, and the connection to everything inside and out through your breath. Breath filling every one of those 70 trillion cells, and as you exhale, each one of those 70 trillion cells gets to release, gets to sigh, gets to let go. And then inhaling, there's beautiful, healing, positive energy, the energy of joy that could course through your veins, through your meridians, through your organs. And think about this during the rest of your day or your evening and think about how you walk. Can you walk with the remembrance of joy when you do your dishes or watch your TV show or answer an email? Can you bring yourself into your vertical alignment? Take a moment to remember the positive energy that you can choose and circulate through you. And play with that and see how it goes for you. And if you have any comments or if anything that, uh, that came up in this morning has touched you, please um, let me know. I really love to hear from you. And remember, we're not alone. Sometimes we just have to switch the thought that says we're alone and open up our hearts and remember that we really are in this together. And even any little bit of work you do on yourself to shift your energy, that's a contribution to the whole. That's a contribution to the whole. Remember there are monks and nuns and people unknown that are praying 24 hours a day all around the clock for the highest good for all of us. Remember that and feel that. And let's participate in the inner transformation for all of our sakes. And many blessings, many blessings.